Hello guys, welcome to the another session. In this session, we are going to look into IPython interpreter. So prior to learning about what actually the IPython interpreter is, we have to understand that how we can get the IPython interpreter. So once you have finished the installation of Anaconda software, then you don't need to take any further step to get the IPython interpreter as it is coming with Anaconda software that I will demonstrate you in this session. Now coming to the second question, what actually the IPython interpreter is? So to answer your question, I would like to remind you some of the point from my earlier course that is learn coding from scratch with Python 3 where I have mentioned that Python is an interpreted language and the behavior of the interpreted language is the interpreter will execute the code line by line. Let's understand with an example. This is our Anaconda editor and if I am going to run any program so I need to write Python and if I will press enter so it will give me the interpreter and here whatever I will run it will get executed. So here you will find that it is giving us 2 plus 2 4 if you will look into that you will find it over here it is returning us 4 the same way if you write over here print and within that we can write hello world enter so it will print the hello world so this is normal python interpreter but this interpreter is good but it not contains many of the advanced feature which ipython interpreter offers us so you must be asking what kind of powerful functionality ipython offers us so to understand it let's understand with an example suppose that if we are going to have some random number so we need to write import numpy import numpy as np and over here we will generate some random number for example a equal to np dot random dot random number and i want the random number and over here if i wanted to calculate that what is the dot product and how much time it is taking to identify the dot product of this so how I can calculate that what is the execution time if I will try to run there is a special command which I Python offers which the normal Python doesn't offer so that is that we are going to look into that for a time being you just consider that there is a magic command for time it that will help us to calculate the what is the time takes for this execution if I will run it then you will see that it throws an error now we will look into the same example in ipython interpreter and we will look into the power of ipython interpreter which ipython offers that python interpreter doesn't offer and here you will see that there is no output given by normal python interpreter so now let's look into the ipython interpreter so first we will exit from here control z and now I will type IPython instead of Python and you will see the difference why it is powerful tool so now I am going to execute the same example which I have executed over here and you will see the difference what benefit it offers us so over here we will type import numpy as np enter now I am going to generate some random number np we are going to discuss about this numpy in the upcoming session so don't worry about that so this is the method which is used for generating the random number random and over here we will specify 100 by 100 and now it has given us the 100 number and over here we will look into what the time it is taking to calculate the dot product of generated random number so let's write it I am going to run the magic command over here called time it so it will return us how much time it takes to do the calculation of dot product of a comma a so this will give us the dot product multiplication let's enter it so let's look into the output so over here you will find that it returns us how much time it takes to execute this program along with the looping information so this is just a glimpse about the ipython interpreter in the next session we are going to discuss about jupyter notebook 
and the engine which is running behind the Jupyter notebook is IPython interpreter. So when we learn Jupyter notebook, we are going to learn about some of the magic command as well as some of the special command which we are going to use all these commands throughout the course. If I wanted to explain you the Jupyter notebook, I can explain in this session only, but I have kept it separate because I wanted to emphasize more on IPython interpreter as it is a base behind Jupyter notebook. So if you understand this, then you can easily identify what actually Jupyter notebook is and what actually the engine which is running behind Jupyter notebook, which we generally use to do the data analysis and after doing the data analysis we can keep it as a HTML page and keep it as a record. Don't worry if you are not understanding any of the thing whatever I am telling it right now. Don't worry we are going to discuss in the upcoming session where we will discuss about Jupyter Notebook thoroughly. So on this note I am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care.